Hallelujah. Amen. Today we shall look at the marks of a genuine pastor, prophet, evangelist, I mean servant of God. Let's quickly look at the book of Deuteronomy 18. Take a look at verse 21, 22. Hallelujah. If you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has spoken? That is, is it TV Joshua that is speaking or is speaking the words of God? Verse 22, when a prophet speaks in the name of the law, take note of that. When a pastor speaks in the name of the law, verse 22, when evangelists speak in the name of the law, when a servant of God born again, a Christian speaks in the name of the law, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. A genuine servant will speak in the name of the law accurately. Unless I'm not called by God. I, 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 I place my career and my calling on the on land that these 200 and plus children, school children, guess they kidnapped, they have to release immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Three months later, more than 200 girls still remain in captivity. But the Bring Back Our Girls campaign is still hopeful that the girls would be rescued and returned back home safely. The girls were abducted from their boarding school in the northeastern town of Chibok in Borno State on April 14th. A genuine servant will speak in the name of the law accurately. Once again, I was talking about Argentina issue. I'm seeing somebody being rushed to the hospital. They should not attempt the operation. This is a leader. They trying to rush to the hospital, but operation that is dead. So they should not do operation. If they attempt the operation, that is dead. Argentine President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner has been discharged from hospital after successful surgery to remove a blood clot from her brain. If the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the law has not spoken. Matthew 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Here I would like to present a study showing that T.B. Joshua of the Synagogue Church of All Nations is indeed one of the many false prophets the Lord Jesus Christ warned us about in these last days. He is another fulfillment of Matthew 24 verse 24. In this presentation, we will look at six topics. T.B. Joshua linked with Samuel Akina de Wole, and a heretic blasphemer Sun Myung Mu, the well-known heretic of recent times. On a spiritual level, these men are linked, they're all working for the same master. We will explore that. We will also look at the false Jesus or another Jesus who the scriptures is not talking about, different from what the scriptures are teaching. Is it possible that someone may come and talk about Jesus? When you study further, it's not the Jesus of the Bible. We will be looking at that here. We will be looking at T.B. Joshua's failed prophecies. 
we'll be looking at his anointing water that he gives to his followers. We'll look at the idea that TB Joshua comes to people in their dreams. And then we'll look at the idea that his followers see him like Jesus. Is he really worshipped? Do they really see him as the Messiah? Yes, we will look at that and look at video evidence of people saying that in his own church. Lastly, I'll give a closing commentary. This will be a short summary of the Gospel. Professor Willem Johannes Overniel holds a doctorate in biology, philosophy, and theology. He is currently a theology and philosophy professor at several colleges and theological faculties. He is the author of over 100 books. He lives in the Netherlands where he was born. On the Dove Ministries website, they published a statement that he made about TB Joshua. Basically, in the statement, he is defending TB Joshua, speaking favorably about him. Dove Ministries say, the following statement about Prophet TB Joshua and the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria, has been made by prominent Dutch theologian, Professor Willem Ovenier. In this same statement, Willem says this, I may have my question marks on certain things that happened there because I don't understand them. I am a European and not an African. I have question marks on certain things in his sermons, speaking about TB Joshua. I just wanted to highlight this first, that some of these folks, even though they say TB Joshua is a man of God, they can see that something is off, something is not quite right. But then they move on to ignore the warning signs and then they say something like this, I am a European and not an African. So the obvious question is, does the gospel of Jesus Christ work differently for Europeans and Africans? No, this is a grand fallacy. The scripture says there is no difference between Jews and the Greek. So as far as the gospel of Christ is concerned, there is neither Jew nor Greek. We are all the same. There is no European, there is no African. If we are all in Christ, we are all the same. We know, th we know the same gospel, we practice and live the same gospel. Now let's go into the study. 